this isn't Dishonored. If this isn't Dishonored, this is Splinter Cell. If it's not Splinter Cell, it's Mirror's Edge. So, unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything really new here. Oh, well. This is actually a new mechanic, at least in terms of execution. While picking lock is no stranger to anybody who's ever played anything from Metal Gear Solid to Splinter Cell to the original Thief games, you'd know what picking a lock feels like and all the ridiculous mechanics people come up with. So, okay, grab the loot. Hard to keep a secret in this neighborhood. Alright. Okay, I like how he just goes in and out. The animation here is pretty smooth. It's pretty workable. It's pretty dynamic. Somebody actually put some effort into animating this character that I'm playing as right now. And what people don't usually realize is that everything that moves needs to move with purpose, needs to move with poise. Used to take advantage of the 12 principles of animation, timing, and whatnot. I'm not sure if I can recite them right now while I'm playing this game, but I'll tell you about it some other time. Alright, so the parkour button. In the street like a watchman, at least do it out of the light. Everybody can see you. <laughs> the ale has to go somewhere, dear. I'm just the middleman. Besides, you're the only one watching. Every day I'm reminded what a cat you were. <laughs> Come on, let's go try those gavel wings. Nah, just kidding. It's just pressing a bunch of different times. So, we're going inside, we're looking around. Okay, we're seeing some more color variation here. I'm seeing blue instead of freaking brown. Yeah, we're to the wise artists. Uh, brown is about one of the most boring colors you can put your game in. Oh, crap. Canary. I gotta be sneaky. How much did you steal? <laughs> it's not how much you steal. It's what you steal. And how you steal it. Looks like this primal stone thing that Basso wants is in the ceremony room at Northcrest Manor. It's the Baron's mansion. Won't be easy. Worried? Yes, and so should you. We'll be fine. I'll pick up your slack. <sighs> this job's getting more complicated by the second. I work alone, because I'm Batman. No, wait, I'm Jared the Thief. Yeah, basically this is following the Batman dynamic that's not only plaguing video games, but every other pop culture medium. What do you think, Dan? Speak to the people. Hey. That's a lot of guards. They're definitely not here for the summer festival dance. A lot Gee, of I guards wonder what I'm means a lot of steel. Do. Thieves and swords do not get on well. I've never had a problem with swords. But then again, I'm not just a thief. Yeah, I got a funny suspicion that guy's gonna get knocked out. Real funny suspicion. He's gonna get knocked out. We can't let the Baron's guests see this thing giving out. And we can't friggin' see without it. Ah, we go off and on all the time. So you can't fix it? Do I look all like right. a well, to you? Direction to swoop. You swoop. can keep up with shadow, all his shadow. lordship's experiments. Oh, cool. It's not going to be much of a brighter future if the lights don't work. Oh, nice. <laughs> you can do a little quick little sprint. Boop, 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 boop. I think I will knock this guy out. And I don't have my blackjack, so whatever. Parkour time. Boop, boop. All right, now we go. And apparently it's going to... Oh, cool, I can pick his pocket. Well, of course I can. Bronson. Over here. Huh? Help the new boy, will you? He's been trying to light a fire basket for <sighs> don't 10 you, minutes. Don't you. What am I, his father? Go on before he sets fire to himself.
Alright, so apparently you gotta be careful where you step. Gotta be sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Like a thiefy, thiefy, thiefy. Move the container and take the water arrows. What's it talking about? I can't even see. Okay, this is a problem, unfortunately, with, uh... With making a game too dark, you can't see what you're doing. That's always important when you're making a game. Like, you gotta be able to see what you're doing. Unfortunately, they emphasize darkness a lot only because it's a stealth game. Yeah, that's not a good reason to do anything. Alright, so apparently these are where the water arrows are. Open the inventory, select the water arrows. What the heck's a water arrow supposed to do? Launch water arrows at open flames to extinguish them. Okay, so this is going to get rid of the torch light. Alright, like you need a freaking water arrow to just blow out a torch. Especially if you're a good shot. Whatever. Boom. Drafts. Can these damn things stay lit? Oops. And I guess that little eye is a sign that you gotta slow down and be sneaky. So yeah, like many a stealth game, you basically gotta stay out of the uh, guard's field of vision unless you're in darkness, Every in which case you're pretty much safe. Out again. You and even then, you gotta make sure you don't bump into them. Oil, son. I'll show you how it's done. If you pack it together too close, then the air won't feed the flames. Uh, I should know better. My family uh -oh. used to be charcoal burners. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's work you don't see much since the factories came. Does the guard even notice Come he's on. missing? What? I, I need guess to not. Take him down. Okay, that's a cool. The animation is definitely spot on. They bef they make it dynamic. They don't make it like really compulsive. I can see them lacking any secondary action what the or. Just Why'd you kill this guard? He was barely older than you. You're the guard, Garrett. Wrong place, wrong time. You haven't changed, have you? What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't kill without thought or good reason, and I don't get paid for it. So basically, it's okay when you do it, but not me. I see. I get it. But you know that guard? He's not gonna wake up later and follow our trail to cause trouble. When any guards wake up, I'm usually long gone. Alright, so apparently they're establishing morality. Apparently my character doesn't kill, even though he's freaking steals. And he kills when he has to. If you're to. so eager to leave, maybe I should go first. Alright. Boop. Let's see if I can do this with my eyes closed. Oh, well, I can. That's interesting. Like I said earlier, this definitely takes advantage of the fact I'll that you, back. you don't on have to see. You back. I wonder if that claw is going to be like a uh, freaking like evil artifact or something. All right, hold it, please. So R is basically shoot stuff or throw stuff did or I whatever stuff. Something? Oh, did I just hear something? Oh, that's never been used You'd in a video game You'd better stay hidden if you're messing with me. Oh, nice. It wasn't anything after all, I guess. You know what? I think I'll try the parkour button. No, I'm gonna try using my water arrow this time. But oh, really? You stink. There we go. And parkour. Oh, ring the frigging bells! If you keep pacing up and down, you'll wear through those new boots. It's my girl, sir. She's presenting me to her father. He doesn't know I joined the watch. <sighs> the thing is, sir, he believes that rat sack rumor about us is on the tape. <sighs> you worried I might beat you to this thing? Sir? I'd share, probably. I'm worried you're gonna get us both killed. 
I can handle myself, okay? I can move faster, I can climb faster, I can... You can kill faster and make mistakes faster, I get it. You're not in control. That's why I'm better. <sighs> Deal with it. I Let's got just a get bad... the job done. I got a bad feeling she's gonna be the villain. So apparently the claw is an object of conflict. From a story perspective, that works, cause then it makes it tangible and part of the game. Rather than making it something abstract that only gets talked about in the background, you're actually talking about something in the game that you can touch, that you can use, that you can I'm press, that's whatever. What we're after the primal stone. Robes. Robes are always a bad sign. Brothers Cornelius, Aldous, present the keys. Let's burn Northcrest. Brothers of the Awakened, we are gathered here to usher this city into a new age. I guess One he's... of progress and industrial enlightenment. Let us begin the channeling of the primal. Apparently it's... I'll shut up. I'll let you listen. Scare Mama Kana. Magic. Come on. Let's go down there. This will be fun. No. We're done here. Job's over. What? Are you joking? Something's not right. It's too dangerous. And you're not ready yet. You know, I'm not a kid anymore. I can do this. I'm going down there with or without you. Not without this, you know. Like really intense, but I'm not hearing it. It's supposed to be like really physical, really emotional, and the acting's not there. The animation's almost there, but I guess they saved that for the game. The music's definitely not there. It's so generic. It's not really, really motivating. It's not pumping my blood. And the visuals vary between the black, blue, and white. And even that was kind of anticlimactic. Like, this is not good acting. If this ever was a blockbuster movie, it would flop at the box office. Flop like freaking, what was it, Lone? Like, even that, like, there's no impact. There's no effect. I'm sorry, but uh, if you're looking for an Oscar performance, I'd give that a 6 at best. And yeah, I'm using the gamer's rating scale. And I know I usually don't use that. I usually use the word synopsis, but unfortunately, this merits it. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm going from here to here to here, camera's here, TV's there, my computer right here. <clears throat> All right. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this would be a good time to. Uh, this would be a good time for me actually to go to another video. So this will be between between videos.